Welcome to this new how-to. In this how-to, we're gonna look at how you can load flight plans in the CRG 500, 700, 900, and 1000. We're gonna use the CRG 500 from Aerosoft, but this, uh, I would say, plan or this manual can be used for all four of them. So the plan is to fly from Ivalo to uh, Rovaniemi, which is in uh, Finland. Uh, so. What you would normally expect is that you can load the flight plan just by using the world map. But unfortunately, due to the system or how it's built, uh, the uh, Aerosoft or any external or third party uh, aircraft can't load the flight plan directly uh, from uh, the world map, as far as I understood. This is especially applicable to the CRGs, so be aware of that. So. How can you work around this issue? Well, first of all, you can read the manual from Aerosoft because it's clearly documented. But I'm going to show you how to do it. So we're going to go to SimBrief, which you probably will know for planning flights. If you didn't use it yet, then create a free account for SimBrief on SimBrief.com. And then you will be able to schedule your or plan your flights. So we've put in the ICAO codes already. Uh, we set the uh, departure time, which we just accept the default time. We change the aircraft to the different type, right? To the CRG uh, 550 in this case. And then it came up with this flight. So this flight, we can use it. There are some limitations. Uh, for example, uh, the as far as I understood, the jetways are not correctly loaded when importing it into the Aerosoft uh, MCDU. But let's give this one a try, right? Because it contains uh, some interesting information. Let's see what it loads and what it doesn't load. So once we're happy with the flight, we can generate the flight. And you can do it by pressing the generate flight. If you already generated a previous flight, it will override them. So be aware of that. Once it has done that, it will bring you to the next page. And the next page is this one and has the download FMS option. The download FMS option has, I would say, one banner where you're able to download the SimBrief downloader, which allows you to select the files you want to download and then download them directly in the correct location. But in this case, I don't want to do that. Uh, so what we need to do is we need to download the Aerosoft CRG plan. So I'm gonna press download and then it will download it. As you can see, I already downloaded it, so it's fine. And oh, I should have done the same thing because I'm going to do the same thing for the flight simulator one. And the reason I'm doing that, I will explain that in a few uh, seconds. Once you've done that, you need to go to the Explorer. And inside the Explorer, you will go to the flight simulator directory. But uh, be, I would say normally would go to the local cache folder, right, which contains the uh let's say community packages but also the store packages in this case we need to go to local state uh, inside the local state you will need to go to packages and there you will find also the aerosoft crg aircraft inside that folder you will find the work folder and the work folder contains the flight plans so what you need to do is you need to copy the just download downloaded FLP file and put it in here so that it will be available inside the aircraft. Once you've done that, you can switch back to Flight Simulator because what we want to make sure is that in this case, the ATC will accept our IFR request. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna load the preloaded flight. I'll put it in downloads. And there's one thing you probably want to change and it's by default, you will depart from the active runway, but you can change that uh, by going to this down, uh, drop down menu and change it to, to, for example, gate number nine or whatever you like to do, right? You can also say, okay, hey, I want to go to uh, another gate, gate number four, for example. And then once you're happy, you can click on fly then of course it will take some time before the flight loads. Normally it goes, say, a little bit fast. Sometimes it goes slower because there might be more people on the uh, 
using Flight Simulator. In that case, it will take a little bit longer. So here we are. So press ready to fly. You can see all kind of alerts. We're going to close the HC for now. So what you need to do is you need to use this system, the MCDU, to plan the flight, right? But that shouldn't be a surprise because probably you already did use this aircraft uh, and you figured out that you couldn't uh, plan the flight. So we need to wait till all the systems are running, right? It will go to into ready to taxi mode by default. If you want to change that, you can go to the uh, flight pad, go to aircraft, and then change uh, the default state, right? Default state is ready for taxi, but you can also do a cold and dark state, which is, I would say, a little bit more challenging. So let's see. So these yellow alerts should go away soonish. And then we can focus on this part. So here we are, right? So first we're gonna make sure that the position is initialized, that's done. And then we go to the flight plan and you can see it's completely empty, right? Even if you copy the active one, it still is completely empty. If you switch to the secondary one, you can also see it's completely empty. So where did you get the flight plan then from? Well, you go to the MCDU menu, select FMS1, Click route menu, select pilot route list, and hey, that's where you will find the flight plans. The The bottom two are the default ones, uh, and the upper one is the, I would say, just the one we created with SimBrief. You press the option, then it says route loaded, which means it has loaded the route. All fine, you think. So we're going to go to the flight plan, and there you'll see really nothing. Well, if you go to the secondary flight plan, you will see that it has all the stuff in it, right? If we go to the next page, you'll see all the information which is part of the flight plan. Now, to activate this one, you need to press ta -da, the activate button. In that case, it will make the secondary flight plan the active one. It says route loaded and then you're ready to ask for permission to take off because you still have the option to... Uh, request IFR clearance and you can use let's say both the functionality from the CRG aircraft but also still use the ATC from Microsoft Flight Simulator 2020. Here ends this video. In this video we looked at how you can load the flight plan in the CRG aircraft from Aerosoft. I also showed you how you can still benefit from the ATC in Flight Simulator 2020. I hope you liked it. If you like this video then consider to use the like button if you've got questions or comments, then feel free to post them in the comment box below. And if you want to stay up to date about my new videos, then make sure that you're subscribing to my channel. Thanks for watching and see you next time.